and you as well. All right, now we're ready. Thank you, sir. M Mr. Bradley, you have referred to Mr. Wade as your client, correct? Correct. You understand that the court has ruled that communications that you had with Mr. Wade are not privileged, correct? No, I'm, I'm aware that the court ruled that um, one specific uh, dealing with the time frame of one specific conversation wasn't privileged. Then I'm going to ask your honor if, if it's that the limitation or are Excuse me. The, the to clarify email. Sure. Mr. Seda, you asked whether all communications with Mr. Wade I think were covered. That was not the extent of the ruling. Uh, the only ones that I deemed were not covered uh, and that I'd asked about in the in-camera hearing because those are the ones that were relevant were um, any, commu any communications Mr. Wade made regarding the existence or non-existence of a romantic relationship with Ms. Willis. Fine. Thank you, Your Honor. I understand. So going back to uh, this line of inquiry, when you say you don't have personal knowledge, what I want to ask you to start with is, very simple. Did you have communications with Mr. Wade about the relationship between Mr. Wade and Ms. Willis? It's a simple yes and no. Yes. Okay. And is it your testimony that during the time you were representing him, which I understood started sometime in 2018, is that correct? That's the time frame that I remember, yes. Okay. Is it your testimony under oath that with regards to conversations with Mr. Wade about his relationship with Ms. Willis, that you only had one such conversation during the time you represented Mr. Wade? One conversation of what? I apologize. The only, thing we're talking, um, the only thing I'm asking about is that area that the court said is not privileged, which is the relationship between Mr. Wade and Ms. Willis. You've testified that during the time you represented Mr. Wade from 2018 on, that you only had one conversation with him in reference to the relationship between Ms. Willis and Mr. Wade. Is that correct? Yeah, I think that's fairly accurate, yes. Okay, so out of the entire time, we're talking about could be 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, when did you stop representing um, Mr. Wade? It was a few months after I left the firm. All right, give me a, a approximate um, time. I left maybe um, June, July of 2022, maybe. Okay. So that would suggest that for, assuming it's 2018, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, and half of 2022, which is in the vicinity of four to four and a half years, you're testifying under oath you had one conversation about a relationship between Mr. Wade and Ms. Willis. Is that correct? I don't recall having any other conversation with Mr. Wade about him and Ms. Willis. Is it your testimony then that you don't remember any other conversation or there wasn't any other conversation besides the one? I'm going to object just to ask the answer. I think he's drilling down. I think that's a fair question overall. I don't recall. Um, I would say it was the one, but I, I don't recall. You testified that you did have communications with Mr. Wade about him visiting with Ms. Willis at a condo or apartment, correct? I don't think I testified that I had a conversation. I testified that any knowledge that I would have known anything about any condo would have come from that, but I don't recall a conversation about that. I, I do not recall a conversation about that. 
Do you recall any other thing at this point in time under oath that would indicate when the relationship started between Mr. Wade and Ms. Willis? I do not know when the relationship started between Mr. Wade and Ms. Willis. I cannot recall that. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm going to drill down on that now, okay? Yes, sir. Mr. Wade was hired as the special prosecutor on November 1st of 2021. You're aware of that, correct? I have my contracts to show when I started. No one showed me the contract of when he started. But if he has a contract for November 1st of 2021, then that's correct. All right. I'm going to suggest to you that the record will reflect that the contract between Ms. Willis and Mr. Wade was November 1st of 2021, correct? I want you just to accept that, okay? Is it your testimony that you don't know under oath whether or not there was a relationship between Mr. Wade and Ms. Willis before the contract? I do not recall any dates of when the relationship started. So whether you are pinpointing a date of when his contract started or not, I'm telling you I did not recall any specific date that he flat out said anything about a relationship with Ms. Willis. Okay. Now I want to go, based on what you've just said, let's go to what was Defense Exhibit 26, okay? In Defense Exhibit 26, which I showed you last time, was two pages of text messages between you and Ms. Merchant, correct? Correct. All right. Now, the first page starts off by saying, Ms. Merchant, like, just date, don't hire him. Do you think it started before she hired him? You see that? Yes, I see it, yes. And your response to that was absolutely, correct? I'm going to object, ask and answer in cumulative. All right. So, Mr. Sato, I do think we went through a lot of these texts. We didn't go through this whole one. Just a second, Mr. Sato. All right. I'm sorry, Mr. Sato, you said we didn't go through this particular one? No, we went through, we stopped right there. I want to go. I went, I answered, because she, this is the exact language that she just stated a few minutes ago. You could read it back. Okay, Mr. Sato, are you saying both of these two exhibits weren't already covered by Ms. Merchant? It was not gone, this particular language was not gone into. I'm doing it based on the exhibit itself. Well, let's do it this way. I now move into evidence defense exhibit number 26. All right, and I don't have, I have to search through my notes, but does anyone recall, has that one actually been tendered in a minute already? It was. No, it was only presented to your honor for you to take back into camera ex parte to speak with Mr. Bradley and his counsel. Okay. Ms. Merchant is indicating that it was admitted. I thought Mr. Sato admitted it, but I'm organizing and putting them back in order. So I think it might be easier if I just submit the copies of the documents we're all referring to. All right, so defense exhibit 26 and 27 are being tendered. Well, actually, only 26 at this time. Okay, defense exhibit 6, any objection from the state? 26. 26. I'm going to object as it relates to foundation and authentication. It was used to, during the last hearing, for the purposes of refreshing his recollection. And it's my recollection is that it didn't refresh his recollection, but I would renew my objection as to ask and answer it in cumulative. Okay. As to foundation and authentication, I think Mr. Bradley has recognized them as texts that he sent and received. So I think I'd overrule on that basis. Any other objections to their admissibility from any other defense counsel? And seeing none, defense exhibit 26 is now admitted. Mr. Sato. Thank you. All right, let's continue. Now I'm publishing it. After you said the word absolutely, on your own, you said, 
It started when she left the DA's office and was judge in South Fulton. No, no, I'm they met right. at. Yeah. Asked and answered. All right, Mr. Body, uh, I'm going to let Mr. State out have a few minutes on this, uh, and we'll go from there. But uh, Judge, I, I, well, I'm sorry. Uh, I did answer this. I answered it for Ms. Um, Merchant. I stated that I was speculating. The judge, uh, someone objected to the speculation, and but this was the exact same language. All right. Well, thank you when for that, I said that Mr. I Bradley. Mr. Sadow is asking the question in a slightly different manner, and I'm going to give him a little bit of leeway to do that. So, Mr. Sadow. Uh, I hesitate to have to start back where I was, but after the word absolutely, you on your own said it started when she left the DA's office and was judge in South Fulton. They met at the Municipal Court CLE conference. That's what you said, correct? That is correct. Now, it's your testimony, at least so far, that when you on your own gave those two statements in the text that you were merely speculating and did not have that knowledge from Mr. Wade. Is that your testimony under oath? Yes, that's what I testified to. Yes, sir. So you on your own came up with the whole notion that it started when she left the DA's office and was judged in South Fulton. That's, according to you, that's speculation on your part, correct? Yeah, Overruled. That's the question, Mr. Bradley. Yes, that's, that's speculation on my part, yes. Right. It had nothing to do with what Mr. Wade had told you, correct? I answered your question. I was speculating to uh, the answer. That is correct. So maybe you can tell the court, in your own words, why in the heck would you speculate in this text message and say that it started when she left the DA's office and was a judge in South Fulton. Why would you speculate and say that in a text? I knew they had met um, at the municipal court um, conference. Um, How do you know that? I'll stop you right there. How did you know that? I answered that the last at the last. Uh, I, I'm I knew asking that. you now. I knew that Sir, because I'm asking, when you I'm asking you questions, and you are in a situation where you get to give answers. Mm -hmm. I'm asking you, how did you know that? How did I know somebody when they met? Told, somebody told you that, right? When they met? Yeah. Yes, correct. Who told you? Mr. Wade told me when they met. So you had more than one conversation about the relationship between Mr. Wade and Ms. Willis because he told you where he met her. That's correct? incorrect. Incorrect. It's incorrect. It's incorrect. Okay. Let's go he, back to uh, let's go back to the exhibit. Why would you speculate that that's when they started the relationship? What would cause you to put that down as speculation? I don't recall, but um, why I thought that it started at that time. Um, but I do recall that he only met her, and I testified to that, that he met her in at that conference, which was in 2019. Uh, you knew that Ashley Merchant represented a defendant in this case when you were text messaging with her, correct? Yes, I did. Yes. And you knew that the reason she was asking you questions about Mr. Wade was because she was trying to show when the relationship began, correct? Mm, no, that's not 100% correct. It's not correct. the beginning of the text message. Yes, but what, what messages were before this message, before she said that? I, I can't answer that question because I don't have them. All I have is what's in front of you. Yes. And it's uh, that she says, do you think it started before she hired him? So you knew as the counsel for a defendant in this case that Ms. Merchant was asking you specifically about the knowledge that you had regarding the timing of the relationship 
between Wade and Ms. Willis, correct? Um, I mean, based on this, yes, uh, I see what and was in, And in response to that, you answered directly on your own what you now claim to be speculation, right? That's correct. So I ask you one more time before I move to the next part of this. Why would you speculate when she was asking you a direct question about when the relationship started? I have no answer for that. Except for the fact that you do, in fact, know when it started, and you don't want to testify to that in court. Overruled. That's the best explanation, isn't it? This is a complete Overruled. That's the real, that's the true explanation, because you don't want to admit it in court, correct? No, I have no direct knowledge of when the relationship started. You, I'm not going to go back through that again. But if you didn't know, and you were asked specifically as this exhibit shows, mm -hmm. maybe you can explain why you wouldn't say, I don't know. Is that a question? You're asking oh, me a yeah. question to definite, answer? Definite question. Um, state that again. I apologize. If you're being asked, as we've just gone through with this text message from Ms. Merchant, yes. as the attorney for a co-defendant, yes. and she's asking you about the relationship, and she's clearly asking you about the timing, why wouldn't you just have said in response I don't know when it started. I, I don't know why I didn't um, say I don't know. Maybe, again, it's because you know what the truth is, and that's why you answered exactly the way you did in Defense Exhibit 26, correct? No, I can't sit here and tell you that what you just stated was correct. Right. What you want the court to believe and you want the rest of us to believe is that for some unknown reason, upon being asked a direct question about when the relationship started, you decided on your own to simply speculate and put it down in a text message as opposed to putting down what you actually knew. That's what you want the court to believe, correct? That was a lot. So can you break that down? I apologize. You're asking me, do I want the court to th th just to believe, to believe that instead of saying nothing, you decided on your own to speculate? Yes, I speculated. Yes, I, I've stated that I speculated. Yes, sir. That's what you want the court to believe, correct? That's correct. Okay, now, then when you go to the next page of that, Okay? You see, it starts, the best that I can see, it starts in South Fulton. Is that what you have in front of you? Second page. The second page that I have says, that's what I figured. Okay, I, that may be cut off from the one that I have. It's, I'm looking at uh, my opening set line says in South Fulton. Is that on your second page? Um, no. So the if you're going in order of the um, pages, no, neither page starts with South Fulton. No, my, don't get caught up on whether it starts that way. Does the second page have a line in there that it says in South Fulton? Oh, uh, yes, I apologize. So, yes. That's fine. Yes. Just want to make sure that we're on the same page. Yes. Um, okay. <clears throat> you say after in South Fulton, they met at the Municipal Court CLE conference, right? Yes. You see that? Yes, that's correct. And then Ms. Merchant says, that's what I figured when he was married. Is this accurate? Upon information and belief, Willis and Wade met while both were serving as magistrate judges and began a romantic relationship at that time. You see, that's what she said, right? 
No, I mean, so it says they Wait. met at municipal court CLE. The only other thing here says that's what I figured when he was married. There's no response for me on that day. And then there's another response. Um, I mean, I guess a question that says, is this accurate? Okay, that's what I was just, that's what I just went over with you. Okay, so I don't have um, anything in that, is this accurate at all? Um, I can show the court. No, no. It's just, it just says, is this accurate with the question mark? I don't have anything following that. You don't have, after that, upon information and belief, Willis and Wade met while both were serving as magistrate judges and began a oh. romantic relationship. Okay. With that. It's, it's, uh, I apologize. Uh, it goes to the next page. I apologize. No problem. Yes. Just want to make sure. That so, no, no. I, I see that now. Yes. All right. So that's what I just read mm -hmm. is exactly what Miss Merchant said to you in the text, right? Yes, that was in the text. Is, is it accurate upon further information? Yes, that's there. And yes. again, since you have told us that you were speculating when you gave the answer that we went over with previously. On this one, you don't say, I don't know. You simply correct her by saying no, municipal court, right? Yes, so the, she asked, was it accurate? And I said, it wasn't accurate. No, it wasn't accurate. It was municipal court. Right, and when you said it wasn't accurate, it was municipal court, you weren't, didn't say, no, that's not accurate. They didn't start a rom romantic relationship at that time, correct? No, but I was referring to the municipal court. No, it wasn't accurate um, as it applied to the... I was answering the no municipal court, meaning if she, when she said, is that accurate, it was to the municipal court and not magistrate court. Okay, but you didn't say that the rest of what she asked you was accurate, you didn't say, no, that's inaccurate. That's not true. That's not accurate. You simply said the only thing that wasn't accurate was municipal court should be there instead of magistrate, right? So I was answering the question of it was a compound question. Um, and you I, was, I was answering the question of She wrote magistrate court, and I said no municipal court. Right, but it's not compound. It's one statement upon uh, information and belief. I'm sorry. Uh, no, no, that's okay. It's, I know the feedback and the delay is, is complicates things, but I think you've adequately made your point here, and I don't think we need to belabor it much longer. Let's move on to the next issue. Okay, thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Bradley, prior to coming into court today, did you and your lawyer meet with anyone from the district attorney's office? No. I mean, your, no. Not, not that I know. I'm aware of, though. No. I did not meet any, to anyone. Sorry. I, I did I not meet with anyone um, outside of my attorneys. Did you have any conversation? I did not. Meeting, conversation? I did not. So you have not spoken, if I understand you correctly, Prior to coming into court today, you've not spoken with the prosecutors? No. Right? I've not spoken to the prosecutors. I've not spoken to defense. Have you spoken to Mr. Wade? No. So, as far as just getting into the courtroom today, there's been no contact or conversation in it with any of the parties we just went over, right? There has not been any contact with defense or the state at all. I, I think I have basically just one or two more questions. Why would you see the need to speculate when you were texting with Ms. Marchant? I, I, I think we did cover that one, uh, Mr. Sadow. <clears throat> that, that, I think that exact question was already put to him. What would be the what would be the next one? We I'm, I'm trying to look. Let's go to 27. Defense Exhibit 27. Do you have that now, sir? I do, sir. All right. Uh, would you look at it and tell me whether or not the Defense Exhibit 27 appears to be accurate? 
because I want to seek to introduce it into evidence. It consists of an email to you from Ms. Merchant and a text response from you, correct? But the text response was not in response. So yes, it does consist of the email and a text response. I'm not saying that the text response applies to the entire email that was sent. I, 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 all I've asked you right now is, are the yes is the email and the text are those accurate in the interaction that makes up defense exhibit 27 as it applies to the stapling of the email and the stapling of a text message chain yes it, it that is defense uh defendants exhibit 27 this is um I, it's accurate okay i would move defense exhibit 27 in I believe it was treated the same way as 26 last time. Same yeah. objections, Mr. Abadi? Yes, Judge. All right. Overruled. Any other objections from defense counsel? Seeing none, defense exhibit 27 is admitted. All right. Anything else? Your Honor, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know whether you'll find it's objectionable or not. I'll ask it, obviously. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> Mr. Bradley, you realize that if you were to testify under oath, that you knew from Mr. Wade that the relationship between him and Ms. Willis existed before the contract in November 1st of 2021, that if you testified that you knew that from Mr. Wade, that would show that both Ms. Willis and Mr. Wade had lied under oath. You know that, don't you? Yeah, I'm gonna uh, I think that's going to call for an opinion on the uh, credibility of another testifying witness. So I don't think that would be an appropriate question. Then that's all I have, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Sado. Mr. Stockton. Just, just briefly.